What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Tundra VGC video. Today I'm bringing you guys another brand new rental team and I don't know what's with me man, I just want to build around the weirdest things. Today I'm bringing you guys a team centered around Regidrago and Glacier. As you all know, Glacier is one of the most busted Pokemon in the format so I figured I'd throw it on this uh, hybrid Trick Room team but the main focus of this team is around the Regidrago. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I'll be bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. Also, check out the link in the description to my Pokemon Pro page. It's a brand new website hosted by uh, Pedro Juan Miranda, who's actually the content manager for Pokeum. He invited me onto this website that basically just hosts teams and all the info you need for uh, a creator's teams. It's essentially like a library of teams created by YouTubers. So yeah, check out my page. It's linked in the description down below and let's go ahead and get into it. So this team is a Regidrago team. I really love Regidrago's design. It's just really fun having Charizard 4. What is this? Because we have Charizard, Mega Charizard, Mega Charizard Y, it's X and Y, and we have Gigantamax Charizard. So yes, this is the fourth Charizard pretty much. But yeah, uh, Regidrago is going to be running a choice specs with Dragon's Maw as the ability, Dragon Energy, Ancient Power, Draco Meteor, and Hyper Beam as the moves. He's going to be running a spread of 252 special attack, 164 special defense, 92 speed with a modest nature. This spread in particular is just max special attack with enough speed so that under Tailwind we outspeed Timid Feromosa, which is really good. Like honestly, sometimes you'll see a Feromosa in the format, but they're honestly not that common. Uh, but if you do, it's, it's good to know that you can outspeed it. It doesn't take too much investment and you're still decently bulky with that much special defense investment. And when you Dynamax, it's actually a disgustingly powerful Pokemon. As you all know, this thing has really bad coverage, so and under normal circumstances, if this thing had like regular dragon type coverage like Thunderbolt or other moves, we wouldn't be running sleep, or not sleep talk, uh, Hyper Beam and Ancient Power, but that's just the way things are with this Pokemon. To nerf it so it wouldn't be busted, they had to give it just really bad coverage overall. So yeah, Dragon Energy is going to be what you click most of the times under Tailwind. It does massive damage to your opponent's Pokemon. I have a couple of videos where you can actually see that in action. You just Tailwind up and click Dragon Energy and it does disgusting damage because the Dragon's Maw is essentially a 1.5 times multiplier on top of your 1.5 times stab, so it's a 2.25 uh, multiplier overall. Next up, we have a Whimsicott who's going to be running Focus Sash, Prankster, Protect, Tailwind, Moonblast, Fake Tears with a Timid Nature and a speed of 252 with 252 special attack and 4 HP. This guy is basically the bread and butter next to Regidrago. Uh, he's going to be able to set up a Tailwind for Regidrago and also Fake Tears any Steel types or other Pokemon that might resist the hit. Because essentially if the hit is unresisted, they are dropping to Choice Specs Max HP Dragon Energy. It's such a strong move. Like It's basically just Dragon type Eruption. But yeah, uh, Fake Tears anything that resists it and they'll be going down that same turn. And that's really it for Whimsicott. It's just there to set up the Tailwind. Uh, but yeah, next up we have Stack Attacka, who's going to be running a Weakness Policy, Beast Boost, Gyro Ball, Body Press, Rock Slide, Trick Room, and his EV spread is a bit messed up on the slide. I accidentally put 4 Special Attack. It's actually 4 Special Defense, so keep that in mind. So it's 252 HP, 116 Attack with a Brave Nature, tw uh, 132 Defense, and 4 Special Defense with 0 Speed IVs. And some people have been questioning, Marcos, why do you run the Brave Stack Attacka rather than the Lonely Stack Attacka? Because if you don't know... Lonely Stack Attacka with 17 or no 15 or 16 defense IVs uh, is able to attack boost rather than defense boost. And the reason I run uh, the Stack Attacka, the Brave Natured Stack Attacka with max defense IVs, is because I would rather get the defense boost any day of the week. And that's mainly because Stack Attacka it needs those IVs to comfortably take the Earthquake from uh, Jolly Landris, which is really scary. Like you want to be able to get the the Earthquake uh, and be able to live it. Because uh, it's times 4 effective, so that makes it much more difficult. On top of that, getting 0 speed IVs and 15 or 16 defense IVs, yeah, that's that's really hard to do in-game legitimately, so I don't want to have to go through that. On top of that, if you get the defense boosts, uh, this thing's body press is disgusting, so that's always really nice. And if you just go for body press, it doesn't really matter if you get intimidated or not, it just ends up being a monster overall. But yeah, that's uh, that's my thoughts on Sakataka. Uh, it's mainly just there to set up Trick Room and enable 
things like Glacier or itself to uh, go for attacks. But yeah, uh, the, the EV spread is just meant to live a Jolly Earthquake from Max Attack Landorus, which is really important to gain the weakness policy off. And when you Dynamax this thing, it does disgusting damage. Rock Slide at plus two will be picking up tons of KOs with that massive 131 attack stat. And yeah, honestly, a stack attack, uh, really important to the team's Trick Room mode. A uh, great counter to Glacier if you end up facing one, and it's just a great Pokemon. On top of that, you could also run like a Trick Room mode where instead of bringing Whimsicott, you could bring Stack Attack and Regidrago and just underspeed things. Because Regidrago doesn't have too much speed investment, only 92 EVs makes it so it can function under Trick Room or Tailwind. Next Pokemon is going to be Indeedee Female with the Safety Goggle, Psychic Surge, Protect, Helping Hand, Expanding Force, Follow Me, Max HP, Max Defense with a Relaxed Nature, 4 Special Defense, and 0 Speed IVs. This guy is mainly meant to help out Stack Attack and get Trick Room up. We're able to follow me and set up Psychic Terrain so it can't be faked out, can't be taunted, and you just go ahead and go for the Trick Room. That's really it. On top of that, it's able to help hand things like G-Max Cinderace to ensure that its uh, Max Pyro Ball is going to be able to KO uh, Max Metagross at plus one defense. And it's able to help hand things like Regidrago in case you're under Trick Room and you want to be able to pick up KOs on things that would resist the hit. But yeah, uh, Indeedy Female, great Pokemon. It's good for countering Amoongus as well as other annoying powder moves, and it's a really important component of the Trick Room version of this team. Next Pokemon is G-Max Cinderace with the Life Orb, the ability Libero, Protect, Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick, Bounce, 4 HP, Max Attack, Max Speed with a Jolly Nature. Very simple set, and this guy is really important to the Metagross matchup, because Metagross is one of the most common Pokemon in the formats, and if your opponent is running a team that uh, doesn't know how to deal with uh, Cinderace and has a Metagross on it, it makes the matchup much easier. Um, yeah, basically if you're not bringing Regidrago, or if you're bringing uh, Tailwind Regidrago, uh, you're going to want to bring Cinderace. If you're not bringing Trick Room, you're going to want to bring Cinderace. It's like the second most important Pokemon on the team, because uh, Stack Attack and Ndidi are pretty much tied for first. Uh, but yeah, uh, Cinderace is such a great Pokemon, being able to like speed boost for its partners with Max Airstream, changing its type on the fly, being able to attack boost for its partners, and just hitting things with that 150 base power Max Power Ball is just such an important component uh, when it comes to beating other teams of this thing. And the final Pokemon is going to be the Glacier. This guy is running a Salt Vest with Chilling Nay, Icicle Crash, Close Combat, High Horsepower, Smart Strike, Max HP, Max Attack with a Brave Nature, 4 Special Defense, and 0 Speed IVs. Now, I get a lot of questions when it comes to my Glacier with the Assault Vest. Uh, first of all, the first question I want to address is, why aren't you running uh, Ice Lance or whatever that move is? That's because it literally doesn't get it. Uh, Glacier, if you don't know, only gets Icicle Crash and Icicle Spear as physical ice moves. I think Avalanche as well, but uh, the point is, it, it doesn't get Ice Lance unless you fuse it with Calyrex, which is not legal in the format, so stop asking about that. <laughs> and the second question is Smart Strike, which I can understand why people wonder why I run Smart Strike over Heavy Slam, considering Heavy Slam is stronger most of the time. Well, the thing is, uh, Heavy Slam, while it is stronger most of the time and is a very powerful move, uh, it, it's all fun in games, right? It's all fun in games until your opponent Dynamaxes their rock type and you have to click close combat or high horsepower or they Dynamax the fairy type, which you can no longer hit with Heavy Slam because weight-based moves do not affect opponents in the format. So that's why I run Smart Strike, it's just really important. Uh, but this guy is really scary under Trick Room. Chilling Nade makes it so he gets an attack boost every time he gets a KO. And uh, the fact that this guy can boost his offenses with uh, Max Knuckle, as well as boosting both defenses with High Horsepower and Smart Strike, is disgusting. It's it's so disgusting. And the fact that he gets, like, you could literally go for close combat and get a KO and get plus two attack, just like Kartana would. It's a great Pokemon under Trick Room, it's a very scary Pokemon, and I highly encourage you guys to uh, use this Pokemon on Trick Room if you decide to try out the team. But yeah, uh, overall I'd say that the main modes you want to go with on this team are essentially, if you're facing a team with Tapu Fini, you have to keep this in mind, if you're facing a team with Tapu Fini, you almost never bring Regidrago. You want to go with a uh, Trick Room lead versus Tapu Fini teams and try to win with Stack Attacka, Ndidi, and Glacier. And Regidrago could show up, but sometimes you might end up having to bring Cinderace versus that. On teams that do not have Tapu Fini, those are easy wins, and I'll explain why. Essentially, teams without Tapu Fini, you want to go ahead and just Tailwind up and drop a massive uh, Dragon Energy on the team. You'll either pick up a double KO or get really close to it. Sometimes you'll end up trading Regidrago for essentially a double KO, and that opens up so many options for the team, because if you decide to go with a Trick Room mode in the back with Glacier and Stack Attacka, it's, it's so hard to beat, especially if you got rid of their Trick Room Pokemon with the first turn. Uh, if they decide to go for, if you decide to go for a hyper offensive option, 
you end up just Dynamaxing the Cinderace and sweeping them because they don't have anything to like switch in, switch out to take hits. It's very hard to play defensively once you've lost two Pokemon. So that's the main point of this team. You basically drop a massive nuke at the beginning of the match with Reggie Drago, and then either sweep with Stack Attack a Trick Room or Cinderace and Tailwind. So yeah, uh, let, me just, let me know what you guys think about this team in the comment section down below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and turn on notifications. And yeah, I, I just appreciate all the support we've gotten on the channel recently, and I hope you guys enjoy the team. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.